Hi, I'm back and this is what we are going to create. That's the basic idea of the video. First we'll create a simple text animation. Then stylize it using a different effects. Start by creating a new composition. I will make it 30 seconds and 1280 by 720 for the sake of tutorial. You should make it 1080p and actual song duration. Turn the margins on. Drop the song on timeline. Can I follow you back to your room? Copy the lyrics. Write it down using the text tool. Turn on snapping. I'll reduce the font size. Let's erase the other words. Open scale and add a keyframe. Move it forward. Then decrease the value to add another keyframe. Trim the layer. Put a fade in effect to it. Put 6% in both values. Go to the graph editor. Highlight the keyframes. Then press this button to form a curve. Using yellow handles do something like this. Make a duplicate of this layer and overwrite it. Make another duplicate and overwrite. For the third one, delete the second keyframe. Then increase the value to a higher number to add new keyframe. Align the words. Now move the layers like this to sync with the song. Using this tool, you can replace their anchor points. So they initiate from their anchor points. Can I Can I follow you? Follow you. Open position and add keyframes. Go forward then move the words to the left. Go to the graph editor. Highlight the keyframes, then press this button to form a curve. Using yellow handles do something like this. Can I follow you Trim the layers. 
Next move the keyframes like this, so they don't move simultaneously. Now duplicate the first layer, and start typing new words of the line. Delete the position keyframes from these layers. You can replace their anchor points, so they initiate from their anchor points. Move the layers to sync with the song. Now add position keyframes, and make them go to the right side. Then adjust the graph. Move the keyframes like this to avoid simultaneous motion. Now just keep duplicating and overwriting the words. Keep it simple, we will add more movement in next stage. Alright, I wrote all the lines. Let's move to the next stage. Applying perspective movement using basic 3D. First of all, select all the text layers. Right click and pre-compose them. Note my settings. Go to the video's description and download a preset I made to make things simple. This is how the preset appears in effects panel. Put it on the text layer. You can change the colors. Add a keyframe for the color. Go forward and change the color.
go forward again, and change the color. Now just copy the keyframes and paste them a couple of times randomly. It will give a color changing effect. You can change the shake amount and amplitude using these values. Create an adjustment layer. Put a basic 3D effect to it. Add keyframes for swivel and tilt. Go forward and change the tilt and swivel amounts. I can't really explain this cause it's very obvious by seeing. What I'm trying to do is making the text move like a race car advertisement. Just add a bunch of keyframes and make the text move in a cool way. Now add a turbulent noise effect to the text layer, and copy my settings. It will give a nice texture to the text. And now we'll combine a few effects, to give a trippy look. Create an adjustment layer. Put fine edges effect to it. Invert the effect, then put tint effect. A turbulent displace effect. Lastly a CC composite effect. 
play with turbulent properties to experiment with texture. I think this looks really cool. Then let's add very simple particles effect. Create a solid layer. Put a CC particle world effect to it. Copy my settings. Just trying to make particles float, nothing complex. Put a glow effect on particles to lit them up. I've been making dark colored videos a lot, so this time let's change the colors. First put the overlay effect you download from the description. Set it to screen mode. Duplicate it a bunch of times, and move the layers, change sizes etc. Create another adjustment layer. Put invert effect to it, change it to in phase chrominance. Then HLS effect to shift the colors. Experiment with invert effects to see different looks. To finish it off, we'll add some texture. Make another adjustment layer. Put turbulent noise effect to it. Copy my settings. Basically giving it a burned out effect, not too much just a little bit. And that's it. Hope that was helpful. I'll be back with a new tutorial. Until then, goodbye.